Did our species, the Homo sapiens, evolve from the apes? And what species is our direct ancestor? In other words, what species did Homo sapiens directly evolve from? Also, of all the species that are currently alive, which one is the closest to Homo sapiens? I'll answer the third question first. Of all the species that are alive today, the two species that are the most closely related to humans are chimpanzees and bonobos. Pictured on the left is a chimpanzee, and on the right is a bonobo. As you can see, these species actually look quite similar, and they are closely related. They're both from the same genus, the pan genus, and some scientists speculate that the only reason why they are even separate species is because neither one of them are very good at swimming, and so one evolved on one side of the Congo River, whereas the other evolved on the other side of the Congo River. To the answer to the next question, did we evolve from apes, I can say that we did not directly evolve from bonobos or chimpanzees or gorillas or any of the other species that are currently alive today that we think of apes. In fact, although bonobos and chimpanzees are our closest relatives, they only share a common ancestor with us. They are not our direct ancestors. And we don't know what this common ancestor was exactly, but we do believe that it lived about 5 million to 8 million years ago. Now, I realize that doesn't exactly answer the question, did we evolve from apes? But the truth is, we actually are apes, technically speaking. So when you ask the question, did we evolve from apes? Technically, the answer is yes, because we actually are apes. The species that we directly evolved from was another species of humans. In other words, it was in the Homo genus. Any species that is in the Homo genus is considered a human species, including our own species, the Homo sapiens. It is true that it's a misconception to think that the apes that are alive today are our direct ancestors. They're not. So when people say, why is it that chimpanzees and bonobos have not evolved into humans, it's because chimpanzees and bonobos have never actually evolved into humans. But technically, all humans are apes. So what species did we directly evolve from? Well, not many people know the answer to this question, but I'm going to tell you right now. The current consensus of opinion is that a species known as Homo heidelbergensis is the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. However, this is a little bit controversial. Some scientists think that the fossils that are currently grouped into Homo heidelbergensis were, are too diverse to really be considered one species and should be divided into several species. Other scientists seem to think the opposite and think that Homo heidelbergensis is actually the same species as Homo erectus. There's even a recent study published in 2017 by Alan Rogers that says that Homo heidelbergensis should actually be considered early Neanderthals. If that's the case, then the Neanderthals are actually the species that are our direct ancestor, which is interesting because this was actually the consensus of opinion back in, say, 1970, but most scientists move aw moved away from that idea. There also are some sources that say that the consensus of scientific opinion is that Homo rhodesiensis, another species, is the ancestor, the direct ancestor, of Homo sapiens. This is an artist's rendition of what they might have looked like. This species, first announced in 1921 when it was discovered, is also known as Rhodesia Man because it was discovered in what used to be known as Northern Rhodesia. However, most scientists actually now consider Homo rhodesiensis to be a part of the Homo heidelbergensis species. So, at least as of right now, the current scientific consensus is that Homo heidelbergensis is the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. But there is a possibility that that will change in the future. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and together we'll take over the world. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, preferably by December 10th. I upload six to eight videos a month. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ZorkMid123.